In this video, we are going to take a look at using the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between two points. So for example, let's say I want to find the distance between uh, the point negative 5, negative 4, and the point 7, 3. First off, you just have to remember a little bit about plotting points. Uh, and you need to remember that, okay, my first value of my ordered pair is an x value, and uh, the second value is a y value, uh, and this line right here, this horizontal line is my x-axis, and this vertical line up here is my y-axis. Uh, so notice on the left-hand side here, I have some steps for you, and the first step we're going to take care of is just plotting the two points. So the point negative 5, negative 4, since my x value is negative 5, I am going to move left 5 places on the x-axis. And since my y value is negative 4, I'm going to move down 4. And that is where the ordered pair, negative 5, negative 4, is located. My second ordered pair is 7, 3. Uh, my x value is 7, so I'm going to move to the right 7. My y value is 3. Uh, I'm going to move up 3. And that is where the point 7, 3 is located. Step 2, connect the points with a straight line. Okay. So let me just get out my tool here to draw a straight line. And there we go. Uh, now notice that this line will be the hypotenuse of your right triangle. Step three, draw a horizontal and vertical line to form a right triangle. There's actually two ways to do this. Uh, I'll just quickly show you both. Uh, one option would be to start from this point right here and go up far enough so that whenever we start with this point over here and head to the left, uh, those two lines intersect. Uh, you can draw the triangle that way, or you could draw it this way with starting at this point and heading straight down. And starting from this point over here and heading over to the right. Uh, since I have a horizontal and vertical line here, I know that those two lines are going to intersect to form a right angle here. Step four, find the ordered pair of the intersection point of the horizontal and vertical line. In other words, I want to know where is this point located. Uh, well, since this point up here, you know, I had to move seven to the right to get to this point, and I dropped this straight down so that I had a vertical line. Uh, my x-coordinate here is going to be 7. Uh, notice that with this point here, I had to go down 4 units uh, on that y value, and then I drew my line directly straight across, or a perfect horizontal line from that point. Uh, so that point is going to be located at 7, negative 4. Uh, and notice that that matches up. If I go to the right 7 and down 4, uh, there I am at 7, negative 4. Step 5. Find the length of the horizontal and vertical line. Uh, in other words, I want to find you know, how far apart are these two points, and secondly, how far apart are these two points. Uh, and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to look at my y values. Uh, since this is up 3 and since this is down 4, uh, those two points are seven units apart. Uh, now on a smaller number, you can actually just count the blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, now you obviously wouldn't want to do that if the numbers were very large. Uh, so just to give you a second way to find this number, uh, you can actually subtract these two. Take three minus negative four. Uh, and then you want to take the absolute value of that just in case you subtract it with uh, the smaller point, or the smaller value first. You don't want to get a negative value here. 
Uh, and when you subtract a negative, that's the same as adding a positive. Absolute value of 7 is 7. Uh, find the distance or the length of this segment right here. Uh, so notice that in this case, since this is a horizontal line, I'm just going to look at these x values. Uh, this one has an x value of negative 5. I'm going all the way over here to an x value of 7. Uh, now that's small enough that once again you can just count this. You know, this would be 5 units from here to here. This would be 7 units from here to here. Uh, put those two numbers together. Uh, the two points are going to be 12 units apart. Uh, or once again, you can actually subtract negative 5 minus 7 and take the absolute value of that. Uh, negative 5 minus 7 would be negative 12. The absolute value of negative 12 is 12. Now, this looks exactly like the problems you've been working on. Uh, you're just going to use the Pythagorean theorem, and we're going to find how far apart these two points are from each other. Uh, so I'm going to use my Pythagorean theorem, which states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Uh, I know that my hypotenuse has to be my c value. Uh, it doesn't matter if I let the 12 be a or the 7 be a. Um, but plug those values in. Uh, so 12 squared plus 7 squared equals c squared. Uh, my 12 squared would be 144. And my 7 squared would be 49. Uh, when I add those two numbers together, I'm going to get 193. Now to get C by itself here, I'm going to square root. Take the square root of both sides. So my C value as an exact answer is the square root of 193. Uh, that is not going to simplify. That radical is not going to simplify at all. Uh, if you want an approximate value, it's approximately 13.9 as a decimal. Uh, and that is how you use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between two points. Um, what I have here is a problem for you to practice. Follow the steps on the left-hand side of the screen. Uh, see if you can come up with the correct solution. Um, and if you want to try out this problem, uh, pause the video right now. And here is the solution to this problem.